Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Bay Readings. I am Jewel. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you everyone for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you all so very much. I'm already very close to 200, so that makes me very excited inside. That means when I reach 200, I'm going to do the same thing I did when I reached 100. That means I'm going to go live with you guys, do lots of one-on-one -on -one time personal questions that you may want to ask the tarot. I will allow you to ask one free question. So that makes me so excited. I feel like I'm reaching little milestones. Yay. So thank you all for tuning in with me today. I'm going to do a reading for the collective as to, because I like to get input from you guys, and when you guys give me, like, ideas for readings, I want to go ahead and try to do those. So, someone had reached out to me and asked if I would do a reading on how would the family react to finding out about your pregnancy once you find out you're pregnant. Okay, maybe you're in some type of or unorthodox situation. I don't know, you know, I'm not here to judge. You know, we're all in our, on our own journeys here and called to do specific things at specific times for a specific reason. So I'm not here to judge you on that. But this reading is gonna be for how will the family react to finding out that I'm pregnant. So, I will say there's going to be about three groups of you. So think about a number, one, two, or three, and that's going to be the deck for you, okay? I want you to maybe even pause this video for a minute and really, like, ask your intuition. Move on what your intuition is telling you to do, okay? What number your intuition is telling you to pick, for the accuracy of this reading. And also, you know, if you just feel like it didn't resonate with you whatsoever, you can request a personal reading with me. Those are still open. Your first time personal reading with me is $10. So take advantage of that. I'll be happy to assist you with it. So if you chose deck one, ooh, I have cards. <laughs> Fine. Way over here. If you chose deck number one, we're going to get started with you. All right. So how will the family, relatives, friends react to finding out you're pregnant? Let's peer in and see. Okay, if you chose deck one, I'm already feeling like a young energy here. And the first card out was the two of wands in reverse. So initially this tells me that you're being looked at as maybe going down the wrong path. Um, like you lost your sense of direction, okay? Um, that you um, make somewhat of unrational decisions are, if that's not the case for some of you, this is an unplanned pregnancy. This is something that you didn't see coming and um, 
it just it just happened, you know. So, um, with that next to the world card, you know, it tells me that it's again. I'm seeing an unplanned pregnancy, like. And then I'll tell you, I got the Five of Cups next. So I really feel like already right away, like someone is feeling like you're not mature. You're not ready. You're, you moved, you did something really fast and it was not well thought out. Maybe they feel like the person that you got pregnant with, like it happened too fast, like you barely know this person or you haven't been dating this person for too long, maybe less than a year. So I do see like a lot of um, talk and gossip about that amongst your friends and relatives. Here. Give me a second, guys. You could be telling your people. I kind of feel like for a reason, like, you're not going to tell them right away. Like, you already know that the situation is unfavorable, it doesn't look good in the eyes of others to outsiders looking in, your friends and family, they're not gonna really quite praise you on this. Although with this ace of swords, of course, you know, every pregnancy and every child is a pure blessing, you know? So with it, it's gonna still come some clarity it, um, it may still bring family members together, closer together in the end, this child, this baby. Um, it just may be a process of just, you know, people allowing the situation to be what it is. We cannot be crying over spilt milk. And especially when it comes to pregnancy, you don't want to ever like be surrounded by people who look at it as like a mistake, like such a huge burden, you know, when this is a baby, this is a child, this is a miracle. So I feel eventually your friends and family will, you know, see the blessing in this with that ace of swords, because that means clarity comes in. That means truth is being felt, spoken, and heard, despite what the outside appearance looks like. And then I just pulled the five of wands right after that. So I don't know if you're going to be getting a backlash also from this person's side of the family as well, because it looks like it's two, two sides in dispute. Maybe the father of your child. I mean, maybe you both are young. Um, maybe this relationship is very, again, fresh and brand new. So getting pregnant this fast by this person that you barely know seems to your family like like crazy because it's a huge decision you know when you decide to have a child yeah i'm see and i'm seeing a lot of fire in this um deck i just pulled the page of wands so i'm seeing a lot of fire in this red again this tells me that maybe you're young maybe the person you're dealing with is young I just see like um, a huge lack of planning it. It may have been something 
that also might happen in a one night stand, you know, and this pregnancy is going to come as a surprise to both you and the person that you were with, that it happened on this one night stand. And maybe even the person you're with is not going to be so happy about it. Um, Cause I see two different sides. I see like your family feeling like it's very unplanned and um, um, a rash decision that has been made. I also see here someone maybe asking you to get an abortion. Like, are you sure you don't wanna just have an abortion? I mean, I don't wanna speak up on those things because I wanna leave my own personal kind of views about this anyway out of that. I just feel like every ch child, every pregnancy is a blessing, you know, it's a miracle. There's so many people that really want children. So I feel like you need to be alert and aware of what's coming ahead that some people may be so much against it that they may be telling you to have an abortion. So I would say use your heart, follow your intuition. You know the right thing to do. Okay. Um, what else do I see here? And you may be having a son is what I'm seeing too. You could be expecting a son if you pick this deck. Let's see what else our um, spirit guides want to tell me about the situation. Yeah. I have the six of swords just come out. So to me, that tells me that, you know, it's looking, it's being looked at as a bad choice that has been made on your part. Family, friends are not really it immediately hyped about it. Although it may in the end work out, of course, and everyone will be seeing the blessing in it all. Initially, it just looks, it looks bad. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm not here to sugarcoat. And maybe I got the um, Jack of Spades, which is um, like the Prince of Swords or something like that. So maybe the person you got pregnant by is a, a rebel somewhat. Maybe your, fam your family don't like this guy. Um, or the roles can be reversed. Maybe your family as a male, you, they don't like the woman. So I'm just seeing here, it just looks like a bad decision. There's gonna be, there's gonna be lots of talk and gossip and just um, agreements over it, okay? Lots of that is what I'm seeing. So let me just pull some motivational cards from the fairy deck for you guys, give you a little motivation in, in that because it's not going to all be bad, all right? I feel like at the end of the day, it's going to be okay, all right? As long as you are following your heart and you're doing what's best for you and not listening to others, okay? Go within, meditate, pray, ask your spirit guides, the universe, most high, whoever you believe in on that higher plane to help you through this. Let's see what our fairies have to say. I feel like you're being told to focus on yourself, really. Focus on yourself. Don't worry about what other people have to say about this. Go within more. Work diligently, being self-sufficient. Yeah, um, so again, I'm seeing here that family members are thinking that you didn't make the best decision, that you could have went with a better choice, maybe 
someone who they feel really loves you or maybe someone who they feel may have a better job, something like that. And then I have the queen of winter popping out. Maybe some of you are an air sign, but you have a lot of heavy air around you. And this basically tells me that it's going to be a time for you to really examine like your surroundings. Who are you letting um, put ideas in your head that don't serve you, who bring you down, make you feel not your best self, you know. Um, I feel like it's time for you, especially with you being pregnant, it's time for you to walk away from those people. It's time for you to focus in on being a great mother that you're about to be, okay? It's time for you to step up to your throne because this baby is your miracle, okay? And I don't see it being easy in the beginning when you tell people. It's going to be some conflict. But with this queen of swords, this tells me that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay because you know who's who, who's the gossiping people, who's just always having something negative to say about whatever it is that you do, not even just this pregnancy. You're going to have the inner knowing to be able to see through that and know what's right for you despite what they say with this queen of swords all right deck one people i hope that that helped you i hope you enjoyed that reading if you want a personal reading i'm here for you reach out to me at jilled for life at hotmail.com okay and i'll give you a personal reading thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video all right i'll be moving right along to my deck two people Back to what's going on with the friends and family when they find out that you're pregnant. What's going to be the reaction? Give me a moment. Meditate on your friends and family. If you're pregnant, what will they say? I'm already feeling like this is going to be, I have the four of wands coming out first. This is going to be a time where I kind of feel like you don't know what to expect from your family. You don't know how they're going to take it. Um, maybe you haven't even told your family that you've been trying to get pregnant. Maybe you've been keeping this to yourself. And our automatically right away I feel like it's just going to be a celebration Put some more cards give me a second So maybe this pregnancy is uh, going to cause you to have to move away. Maybe you're moving in with the father of the, of the baby and he lives at a distance. So it looks to me like you may be having like one um, last like hoorah with your family before you leave. That's what I'm seeing here. I 
I see people very kind of like sad at the fact that you're, you have to go. They may be wanting your person to move towards you and come to your city or your hometown. But I feel like I see people kind of conflicted that you're leaving. Maybe your mother is not wanting you to leave. Maybe she wants you to be pregnant around her so that she can help you and give you that motherly assistance. And I kind of feel like some disappointment or some type of conflict there. They feel like you're not going to have all the help and assistance that you need if you move away. Is what I'm saying. Because I got, okay. The Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands here. So that's what I see. And the first two cards out was the Four of Wands and this King of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a happy time, a happy celebration. But with it is going to come change. I see someone traveling moving away and then it's like they're picking up a heavy load and it's like it's like you're almost carrying it by yourself i don't know if it's because when you move to go be with this person maybe you know you're not really close to any of the other um of this person's side of the family or you don't really know them so your family is concerned about the assistance and the help that you're going to be getting while you're with this person. Maybe they feel like your person can't do it all by themselves. I just have the Seven of Swords flip over. What is the Seven of Swords? I don't know if someone... I don't know if you like people you really don't want to even leave yourself. You're going to be wanting to go back home during your pregnancy because I feel like people are just not really wanting you to go and because of that it's going to do something to you to your emotions and you're going to feel yeah I feel kind of like maybe someone older than you it could I'm seeing because the king of swords so it could be your dad that you don't really want to leave Because I have the Seven of Swords coming out. And it's almost like as if someone wants to turn back around. Or maybe your father is telling you not to leave too. Like, like um, someone is saying, uh, talk to the person. Um, talk to this father of your child. See if there's any way possible that he can move out to you. I have this Ten of Pentacles just fly out. So this is telling me, like, don't worry about how it's going to play out. In the end, in the end, it's all going to come together, like, beautifully. Okay, see that happy home, the happy, the happy couple the dad there with the baby. <laughs> so whatever conflict comes with the pregnancy of where you're going to live, if he's coming to you or you're going to them or, you know, I feel like it's going to come together. It's going to work itself out. You just have to have faith, trust, and strong belief that the divine is going to work this out in your favor. This is a 10 of Pentacles. To me, that's like the ultimate family success, okay? Let's see what other cards I can pull really quick. So I feel like you're gonna be fine. Uh, if this is a father that's not wanting you leave or mother, they're gonna be fine. Everybody, it looks like they're gonna work something out something's going to work out something that you don't probably see working out in a certain way is going to work out 
for the good of everyone, to where everyone's happy. Yeah, so I got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. That tells me here that people are thinking of, of you, of the pregnant person here, of the mother. And they're wanting what is best for you. So I feel like if you speak up in certain situations as to what you really want or you feel is best, that they're going to support that. You're going to have um, supporters in your family that's going to say, okay, well, she, this is what she's saying she feels best doing. So we're going to support that and be happy for her. And we're still going to be in this family, this happy family life regardless, okay? Then we're going to come together and be this happy family to make her happy and the baby happy. We all just want to be happy and be in this baby's life you know this is our new bundle of joy so i feel like for your challenge number two people that is really going to come down to like where you're going to be living with the baby with whom and what city are you going to be living close to your parents or far away from your parents because i feel like people are going to want to be in this baby's life maybe it's your first child and it's a big deal <laughs> So, let's see what else. Yeah, so I'm being told that you need to really rest on, rest on this idea, meditate, pray, you know, ask your spirit guides, your spirit team for help regarding this, and you're going to find the answers. You'll be given the answers and the tools that you need. This situation calls is going to bring some balance. It's going to bring balance into your life, into your family's life. I feel like this child is going to bring balance to everyone in having everyone think with a different perspective. You know, not just solely based on their personal needs or their their self selfish needs i feel like it's going to bring balance and with that lion there i feel like it's definitely going to bring a lot of courage and strength and it's going to take a lot of courage on your part to stand up for what you believe is right it says take your time there's no need to rush and that's what I saw too with that Four of Swords. It's like rest, rest on the idea, plan it out, you know, plan out exactly what you feel is the right thing to do. Don't rush and make any rash decisions and everything's gonna be, this is a major comment. So that tells me, you know, this is a major life altering change that event that's gonna happen but it's gonna bring balance. So everything will be fine, all right? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that reading, deck number two. If so please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all again soon. Moving right along to my deck three, people. Let's see what we got for you. Deck three. What is your family gonna think? Or what are they gonna say when they find out that you're pregnant? How are they going to react? Let's see. Deck three, deck three. So I have a Queen of Pentacles flying on out there. So automatically I'm feeling like someone is like a mature businesswoman. 
if you're really like career driven, maybe you get really focused on your business. Maybe you have your own business and you're really focused on that. Are you just graduated college and you're um, in your career field? Let's see what else. Okay. So someone with this world card coming up next in reverse, someone is thinking like, Like you, you would be messing up your career by getting pregnant. I want some more cards. I just feel like someone's like you're messing up your world if you get pregnant. It's gonna slow you down. Yeah, I just got the Page of Pentacles coming out next. So that already tells me with th these three cards that someone is feeling like in your family your family and friends could be feeling like with you getting having a child getting pregnant that you're going to be demoted that it's going to hold you down and you're not going to be able to do all that you had set out to do. Maybe your job somewhat required you traveling around the world and you're not going to be able to do that with a baby while you're pregnant, whatever, you know? So I feel like your, your family, your friends are, I don't want to say they're not happy for you, but they're just feeling like it's going to be, it's changing, it's going to change your financial situation. I feel like you had just got like established in something good financially. And then they're like, right when you got established, you got pregnant. Now you have extra financial responsibility. You're not going to be able to, you know, stay in that high position you were in. And they may feel like, for some of you going to school was now a waste. All that time and effort and energy and money you spent into going to school was a waste. They're like, you did all that. You went to school, you graduated, you got your degree, you're in your field, and now you're pregnant. Like, come on. Like, that's what I'm seeing someone say to you. Like you just, you just begun, you're on your way and now you're pregnant. You're going to have to work at Burger King now. Well, I mean, I'm just saying like they are feeling like some type of way about it in regards to your finances or this could be your partner. I actually see like a sibling maybe telling you this, like someone, a sibling, someone you're close to, it's like, it could also be your parents, I'm saying, and hmm. I feel like you're creative, though, like you have some type of creative talent possibly. So you're going to be able to pull off doing like side things on the side while you're pregnant. This is the queen of wands and she's a creative. She has with all that fire you see in the back, she's very passionate about things that um, she does in the business front. Um, she can come up with side jobs for herself and still be good. You know, just because you're pregnant does not mean, you know, you cannot still create. <laughs> be that entrepreneur, that businesswoman. It just feels like now it's on like, it's coming from a different angle. 
Whereas this Queen of Pentacles, yeah, you're probably in a fancy, high class position at a some business company, but with this Queen of Wands, it's like she's making just as good money, like working from home, doing her own business too. You know what I mean? So I have a Six of Cups come up right after that. And that tells me that it could be something that you dreamt of doing from when you were little. And now that you may have to take time off from your current career position, that you're going to be tapping into something that was a driving you or something that you've been passionate about from when you were young. I don't know, maybe you always wanted to write books or um, something creative. It could be something even like with beauty, I'm feeling like makeup artists or something like that. I feel like you're still going to be okay. So whatever people are saying about, oh, you're pregnant and you're ruining your career. No, you're not. You're going to be fine, Queen of Wands says. Okay. And I don't know if maybe you're going to go back to school for something different. Maybe you're going back to school to explore this passion that you had from when you were a child. Could be that. Maybe you want to go back now. And you're like, well, I'm going to be a writer now. I'm going to be a novelist. And that's what I see here. So let me pull a few more cards. Let's see what else we have going on. Okay, so I feel like your situation, you're going to be fine. There's stability here, and there's um, people coming together and compromising and working this out. So you're going to be fine financially. You don't have to worry about that. So whatever people are saying to you, saying to you about, oh, now that you're pregnant, you're, you're going to be demoted. You can't do what you are doing. No. You're the queen of wands. You've got other talents and creative niches under your belt. And you're going to explore those. You're going to do that as well. You're going to do it good. All right. So let me just get a few more cards from the fairy spread for my deck three people for some encouragement. Okay. I got the two of spring coming out. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Great process, great progress being made, I mean. So see, that tells me that you're going to end up building something from the ground up, something creative, something that you are starting, something that has nothing to do with what you graduated for, honestly. It has nothing to do with that. And then I got the Princess of Winter coming out. And that one says, information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear, speaking the truth with kindness. So, Maybe someone is even going to tell you, so what? Do what you want to do. You don't have to be tied to this company or take a demotion because you're pregnant. You know? Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. And um, just don't listen to the negative feedback. There's always going to be someone out there that didn't follow their dreams, so they're going to not support yours. <laughs> you may be like, well, yeah, I have to get demoted from my job or I have to quit my job because I'm pregnant. But that does not mean that I can't do something different, something that's probably more fun than what I'm doing, something that I always dreamt of doing. I'm finally going to do that since I have 
the time on my hands to kind of focus on myself before the baby gets here and decide what it is that I really want to do that I could really do on the side while I have this child. Do you see what I mean? So I hope that helped you. I hope you enjoyed that reading. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with another video. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great night.